This is a steam locomotive. Steam locomotives, in reality, are nothing more than kettles on wheels. So, if you ever wish to have a cup of tea, and there is a railway line nearby, you, in effect, have tea on demand. There even used to be a daily delivery of tea from London all the way to Edinburgh. It was called the Flying Money Pit. All steam locomotives wear a top hat. This is because when steam locomotives were invented in the mid-1800s, top hats were all the rage. Some steam locomotives have a top hat which is slightly squashed, like this. This is because Austrians should never go anywhere near a steam locomotive or they'll make them ugly. Some idiots, like this Tim Dunn fellow, would like you to believe that steam locomotives have a clock on their front end. This is in fact incorrect, as these are the attempts of steam locomotives to grow a handlebar moustache, as they are big fans of Hercule Poirot, despite him not having been invented until 1920. All steam locomotives come pre-fitted with a whistle. If the loco feels like it, they can whistle at people on the line side. Steam locos have whistles because, in the 1800s when they were invented, people would still be assaulted in the streets at terrific rates. In order to draw the attention of any bobby standing nearby, the steam locos could whistle. Steam locomotives are very keen on their personal space. Because of this, they have these boing boings on their front and back. Should something they don't like stand in front of them, they can just give it a slight push. If this does not help, the aforementioned whistle could also help. When a steam locomotive moves, all these spinny boys begin to move as well. This is because fidget spinners had not been invented yet, and the inventor of the locomotive, a man called Richard Hammond, wanted his son to have something else to spin instead. How his son managed to bring a four-foot wheel and half a ton worth of rods with him to school is unknown. All steam locomotives have fat arses. They have such fat arses that they need to hold their arse in a special cart. Smaller locos, which don't have this special cart, are basically the larger locos bitch. They need to assemble the trains for these large locos, which then go on to make their very important tea deliveries. At some point in the life of the steam locomotive as a whole, a man called Mr. Duck wanted to see how quickly he could melt all of the moving parts on the locomotive. He also just happened to break the world speed record for steam locomotives doing so. Famously, steam locomotives never were allowed to go very fast, because they could crash off the end of an end-to-end -end layout. Eventually, the curtain had to drop for most steam locos, as they were replaced with more modern forms of power, such as diesel, electricity, and Elon Musk's charisma. Join me next time as we take a look at Thompson Pacifics and why the new LNERP2 build should be actually rebuilt into a Thompson Pacific after its first 15 years of service.